Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and happy to see you all again. So today is a specific day about so investors who have asked our doubts regarding so many shares. We will first put about that. So guys, if you are not yet joined this channel, then make sure to the subscribe button below just one step away so that you could also uh, learn about so many things and give us updates. Thank you guys. Now let us without wasting time see about the first share is Black Rose Industries. I was so surprised after seeing the company's financial performances. So moving on, the company is having 553 crores as a market capital. That is a very very good point to note. But the main point to note is that the industry price earning is 1.03. As you can see here, the industry price earning is the compounded. I mean, if Black Rose belongs to chemical sector, they will take all the chemical industries and put their average. I mean, industry price. Earning. It is 1.03, and its price earning is. 29.78 see the difference guys it is 28 i mean if we take it's 28 points difference between uh, its companies and industry space in an average we see the book value is just 9.22 and if the book value is 9.22 the share is trading around 108 rupees guys as you can see see the price to book is 11.76 percent it is traded heavily that is it is overvalued so moving on, I, I thought that first uh, is overly valued, but the reason was so good guys. When March 11, it was earning the profit, I mean it was earning a revenue of 88 crore. Now it is earning a revenue of 214 crore. That I mean, that amount of uh, good things is happening. And as you see, 2011, it was earning 6 crores as operating profit. Operating profit means the profit which they earn from the normal activity. That is chemical industry, they are based on. So they are earning chemical profit that is 29.8 crores from 6 crores in I mean 23 crores from a period of uh, if you take 8 years they have grown drastically. There was a downfall in this year only guys as you can see it was a downfall but from 2015 there is a constant increase and also you note that the operating profit margin is very very good guys. Uh, I mean it is stable around from it is stable around 4 to 10 percent is very very stable. So if we also see that a bit that means uh, the profit they earned before uh, before the depreciation and taxes percentage is very very constant and very very good. So <clears throat> before going into this financial performance, I would say that the financial is very very good guys. I mean the financial of the company is very very good and the company is performing very very well. So guys, uh, please don't uh, in this video watch it fully guys. Now only main part is going to come. As you can see. The book value on 2009 was 6.1. The book value means the asset less liabilities and the remaining value that can be given to a shareholder. That is 6.1 in 2011. But it's in 2009 it is 9.2. And also you see that return on capital employed. ROC means return on capital employed. The return they get from the capital invested is ROC. It is 35.04%. The, 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 there has been a growth growth in this also guys so moving on uh, we want to see the fundamentals of the companies are very very good that but one thing to note here is as you can see the book value is very very less guys that is some very very main point to note so keeping this view fundamentally now let us look as technically I'll, we always see this as uh, technicals guys black i mean uh, bollinger bands RSI and MACD. So we are going to see the rule of majority guys. If you see by the rule of majority for a long term view I am saying this share guys. As you can see there has been a contraction in this side and there has been an expansion. As you can see the expansion I, I, I am marking here you can see this expansion guys. This expansion should not happen in Bollinger Bands which states that the share is headed towards correction guys. Yes the share is headed towards correction. So Bollinger Bands is giving a negative look for it and also you can see here that rsi graph is showing a negative sign as you can see here there has been a oversold region overbought region and it, it has not come down and again uh, it has uh, hit that region so we expect double double up moment it has been clocked so it is also negative we expect a strong correction in this also so two things are negative now moving on to MACD, the MACD line has cut here giving the short of plus point. So it is positive guys. By going to the rule of majority, 
we have two negative and one positive and negative wins so guys the conclusion we are going to see is the company is good and the finance is also good and it can be a chance of multi bagger but you should note that the company is highly valued and we can see a correction the first correction limit we are setting is 90.75 and the second limit is 88.95 this i mean this was the corrections the share price number 108 we may see the correction up to 90.75 guys so if you ask me you now i am a shareholder what should i do my advice is that out of 100 shares i will sell 40 shares i will sell 40 shares uh, at the price which i wish and hold the 60 shares and see what is the upper limit i mean uh, for risk risk takers i'm selling you can hold I mean, 100 shares you can sell the 40 shares and hold the 60 shares guys this is my advice please take a final decision wisely guys and make sure you put the subscribe button below because of we put efforts to give the dislike videos and thank you so much guys for peacefully listening this video